Hey, explorers! Welcome back to another episode of playing through the Apple Arcade games. Today, we're going to be playing "A Symbol with Care" by Us Two, and I believe this is a puzzle game. Okay, so right now I am looking at the screen. It says Maria's Mix, and on the right is a tape player. So I'm gonna put the tape, the tape player. Oh, okay. Us two games. All right. Um, let's see here. So I'm gonna take this. Plug into. Okay. This game is best play with headphones. All right. So I'm gonna press the play button. Assemble with care. Begin. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. So you, what do I do here? But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Okay, so tap the suitcase to pick it up. Tap on the clamps to open them. Ah, uh, okay, let's see what's inside here. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. So it looks like some kind of tutorial right now. Oops. Let's see here. I saw, a I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. My favorite overalls. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. My parents took this after I made my first repair. It seems like a lifetime ago. I see, so I gotta remove everything from the suitcase. Okay. Got it. What's this? Looking forward to taking more close ups of my fingers with this. I'll hand these out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed they get me some work. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it. 
So I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents, My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl, and a voice she was longing to hear. Chapter 2, Lullaby. Alright, let's see. How many levels are there in this game? 6, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 14 chapters. So, I have played through the first one, which was kind of like a tutorial. Have I played this yet? Not yet, right. So I'm going to play this now. It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, Everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl. It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Okay, so it looks like I am going to be fixing the tape player. What does this coffee cup do? Okay, just, just for settings. Alright. Alright, so we got a pencil, cassette player, batteries, screwdriver, and the tape. So, first, let's see. Let's take the screwdriver. Let's see, and turn. Cool, I remove. Okay, and I'm gonna take out the. Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have right, some spares. So I'm going to replace with the new batteries. Put the lid back. Where the... Oh, okay, here's a screw. Put it back. Wait, come on. And yeah, I'm going to turn. Put the screw in. Excellent. Okay, so I... Oh wait, hold on. Before I put the tape in, I need to... Put the cassette player... Back... How do I put it back onto the... Uh, onto the spot? Oh, there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the tape... Put the pencil in. Now, kids, today... You may not know what this is, but... Okay, so a cassette tape is what we had back in the 80s, even 90s, I think, before CDs came out. Okay, so I'm going to eject, I'll put the tape in, and I'm going to press play, I guess. Will you dream a dream for me? 
If I sit by your side and hold you so tight, know that I will always love you. Even though we both know that we must say goodnight. Goodnight, my darling. Okay, so I have come. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. It's my mum. She's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered part I wouldn't be able to fix. Okay, so I completed level two, which was Lullaby. Uh, level three is Shatter, and I will save this for another time. So come back uh, for another episode in the future. Bye-bye.